So these are the prefixes of the metric system. Now, first I'd like you to notice the B in the middle stands for the base unit. And I just gave you three metric system base units, the liter, the meter, and the gram. Now, there's a lot of ways that people try to remember each of these uh, prefixes. Now remember, each one is 10 times greater or smaller than the one next to it, okay? And the way that I remember them is starting over from the left side. Uh, the capital M there stands for mega. And then it's dot dot, we'll talk more about that later. So mega, and then kilo, hecto, deca. The base unit's no prefix, liter, meter, gram. Deci, centi, milli, dot dot, micro. Those are the prefixes. The way that you can remember each of these prefixes is with the mnemonic device, Mr. dot dot, king, henry, died, by, drinking, chocolate, milk, dot dot, mu, because cows make milk and cows say mu. Say it with me. Mr. dot dot, king, henry, died, by, drinking, chocolate, milk, dot dot, mu. Okay, so we're gonna to try to convert 81 kilograms to grams. And so if we follow these directions right here, uh, it should be pretty easy. Okay, so the first thing says write the given number in unit. So the given is our 81 kilograms. So I'll just go with 81 kilograms. Second thing to do is to multiply by a fraction. So that all that means is times a line. Okay. Now, the third thing is put the units in to cancel. Now, if I want to cancel kilograms, uh, I usually ask, should I put them on the top or the bottom? And the entire class, you could say it out loud, uh, would say bottom. Okay, so I want to cancel kilograms. So I'm going to put kilograms right here. And the thing that I'm going to try to change into is grams. So I'll put that on the top. Now, hopefully we can all see that kilograms will cancel. We'll be left with grams, which is what we want. Uh, the fourth uh, step is the bigger unit gets the one. Okay, now by bigger unit, what we mean is out of these things, okay, up on the, the prefixes, which one is a bigger unit? Now, if I ask you, this M stands for mega, and this little uh, mu stands for micro. So hopefully we can all agree, this is the big side, and that's the small side, okay? So in this case, we need to find kilogram and gram, okay? So kilo is right here, and gram, I don't see a G here, but I know that gram is a base unit. And so the base unit is found here. So kilo is a bigger unit, and according to step four, the bigger unit gets a one. The next step asks me to count the number of steps from kilo to great gram under the base unit. So I look right here and I'm going to go one, two, three steps. Now because each step is 10 times greater or smaller than the previous, uh, that means 10 times 10 times 10 or 1,000, three zeros for three steps. Okay. Uh, finally, we're going to multiply anything on the top and we're going to divide by anything on the bottom. So in this case, I'm going to go here, choo, choo, get to cancel, that's fun. And then we're gonna multiply the top. And so 81,000 grams. So um, I weigh about 81 kilograms, and uh, if I really was interested, I'd find out that I also weigh about 81,000 grams, which is like 81,000 paper clips. Ta-da! Okay, our second example for the metric conversions is just right up here. A can of soda is about 335 milliliters. So I wanna know how many liters is that? There, okay. I'm gonna go pretty quickly this time. So I'm gonna follow the first couple steps, write the given number and unit, 
multiply by a fraction. Then step three says put the units in so they cancel. So um, milliliters is here. If I want them to cancel, should I put them on the top or the bottom? Say it loud. Wonderful. I'm going to put them on the bottom so that they'll cancel. The unit that I want goes on top. It's a liter. Then I ask myself, step four says, hey, the bigger unit gets a one. So I have to look and I find here that milliliter is right here and liter is under the base unit right there. So anything on that end is big, this end is small, so the liter uh, gets the one. Okay. Now we need to count the number of steps from liter at the base to milliliter. And so we're here and we're gonna go one, two, three steps to milli. So each step is 10 times greater or smaller, so 10, 10, and 10. So one liter has a thousand milliliters, a thousand little drops of water. Okay, cool. Uh, next up, we're gonna multiply the top and we're gonna divide by the bottom. Okay, so first let's cancel our units. The only thing left is liters, which is what I want. And now this just, this just says to divide. So I would put 335 divided by 1,000. And of course, that equals 0.335 liters. Great. So it's less than one liter. In fact, there's about three sodas, cans of soda, in one liter. Okay, here's another example, one that maybe you can relate to. Uh, maybe some of you have, have run a 5K race, a five kilometer race. And maybe you've been wondering, hmm, what if instead of taking normal steps, I took centimeter steps? And centimeter steps are real small. Of course, there's 100 centimeters in one meter. How many steps, centimeter steps, would I have to take to go five kilometers? Let's find out. We're gonna write the given, five kilometers times a fraction. Cancel the units, so kilometers are on top. I'll put kilometers down here and centimeters right there. The next step says, let's give a one to the bigger unit. And hopefully you can see from the Mr. Dot Dot King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk dot dot mu that there are uh, kilometers bigger. So we're gonna give it a one. And then let's go ahead and count the steps all the way to centimeter. So from kilometer, one, two, three, four, five steps. So I'm gonna put a one, and then I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, five zeros. That's because if you multiply 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, you'd get 100,000. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel the units. And anything on the top, I multiply. Anything on the bottom, I divide. So I'm going to multiply it out. And I'm going to get 1.5. So if I want to run a 5K while taking centimeter steps, I'm going to have to take 500,000 centimeter steps. Here's another example. And this new example is going to teach us how to get across these dots here. Okay, so we're gonna, this is mega and this is micro. Micro's small, mega's big. And we're gonna use this end over here, okay? So we're gonna use something called a kilowatt and a megawatt. Now what's great about this is you don't even have to know what those things are yet. You just have to learn the process, okay? So we're gonna, of course, write the given. Times a fraction. Cancel the units kilowatt by putting them on the bottom because they're on the top here. And we want megawatt. The next step is to put a one by the unit that's bigger. I see that mega is, is big over here, so it's gonna get a one. And now when we're gonna count steps, we have to count those dots. So what I mean by that is we're at mega and we're gonna go one, two, three places. And so there are one, two, three zeros, a thousand kilowatts in one megawatt. 
it's over. Now we get to touch our calculator. We're gonna cancel units. And because the thousand is on the bottom, we're gonna divide. Okay. Or we could just do one, two, three zeros, one, two, three zeros, and we have 65 megawatts. Now, now, some of you may have learned to slide the decimal place uh, to convert from one metric prefix to another. And that's a totally fair thing to do. Now, sometimes we'll ask you to show your work like we've done in the previous examples. But let me just touch on um, how to slide the decimal, okay? So in this situation, it says convert 65,000 kilowatts to megawatts, okay? So um, for kilowatts, we're gonna start, there's no decimal in this number, so of course it's right here at the end. And if we look, at Mr. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, we're at kilo, and it looks like we're gonna go one, two, three places to the left to get to mega. And so in that case, I would, I would do one, two, three places to the left, and I would end up with 65,000, sorry, 65 megawatts. And that's just like we did in the previous example. But now, maybe because of the previous example, you know why the sliding the decimal works. Here's another one, 178 centimeters to meters. Okay. So I see centi here, and I know that meter is not this. This is milli, it would be millimeter mm. So I know that I need to go to the base unit where liter, meter, gram um, would be found. So I'm at centi, and I'm gonna go one, two places to the left, and so in that case, I would go one, two places, and I would end up with 1.78 meters. So go ahead and practice both ways, um, and you can use one to check the other. Practice, and if you need help, then ask for help right away.